What's up guys? So in case you didn't already know, my name is Darren Nueska. I am a senior engineering technology major here at Illinois State University and I'm on the cheerleading team. I am currently on my very last semester here at ISU. I'm graduating in the spring of 2020. I'm pretty sure I'm less than 100 days now until graduation. So you can probably tell from the title of this video, it might be a little different from what I usually do. It's not going to be a lot of fast paced cutting and editing and sound effects or, you know, I thought I'd just take the time to sit down and kind of get my story out there for maybe someone who wants to hear it someone who can relate or maybe just me making a memory for myself that I can look back at as much as I don't really like listening to myself when I vlog but yeah so the title of this video as you can see is how I ended up at ISU with this story I might either be making a long story short or a short story long but we'll give it a go so it all starts in fourth grade I'm just kidding it starts in third grade in third grade I remember it was somewhere in the spring they had a few picked third graders take a test that took about half of the whole day and it basically selected you to be in the gifted math program which meant that this group of me I think it was 12 of us maybe this group of 12 kids that from that early on were kind of decided to be on this path of gifted abilities and so from then on I think that's kind of where you start to branch off and just kind of see where your intelligence levels are where you start to get split off from your classmates from that route I just kind of have been on the honors courses I've always been an honors kid I carry that all the way out through high school to be honest though my freshman year of high school at that point I tried so hard i tried my literal brains out there would be days where i'd come home from school i'd do homework all the way until maybe 10 o'clock and i'd go to sleep and wake up just to finish more of the homework if i didn't finish it last night that was about the epitome of my study habits because that was before i started any sport in high school so come springtime i joined gymnastics and then right after gymnastics ends i tried for cheerleading and so for three years straight in high school i was in gymnastics and cheerleading there was about maybe one week in between each sport where I could come home after school but other than that I'd go to school and I'd go to practice right after so coming back to that freshman year that's when I started to decline with my study habits that's when I started to realize how gifted of a level I really was at. Yeah, I was in all these honors and AP classes, but did I have honors and AP study habits? Definitely not. My GPA was always a little bit higher just because I knew how to work the school system. Passing school in high school for me especially was as easy as just turning in stuff when it's due, showing up when you need to, and studying when you need to, and I pretty much carried those three things on with me in college, but there would be days in high school where I'd get home from practice and I wouldn't even look at my backpack and I'd eat and then I'd watch videos on my phone for maybe three four hours up until two o'clock a.m where i had to sleep and then wake up at 5 a.m go to school go to practice and do it all over again there would be days where i'd be going to school with so little hours of sleep sleep in all of my classes do homework in between classes by the time i hit my senior year i'd be doing homework anywhere but home and you know that wasn't always a bad thing i didn't finish off high school too badly either i graduated with highest honors got a 5.3 out of 5.0 gpa not too bad on my act and I'd like to take this moment to thank my brother and sister. Both of them are older than me. They kind of molded the path for me for where I'd be in my school course because they had gone through it before me. So my brother, he was really good at math and science and my sister was really good at social studies and English. And so seeing where the effort needed to be to be good at those subjects, it really helped me choose my path along where I needed to be for what I was doing in school. A lot of the times, maybe I'd ask them for help, but I think it was enough for them to have gone through it for me to learn from them. I'd say high school was a pretty difficult experience for me, balancing so many things, being in so many clubs, being in all these honor societies, sports the whole year. When it came time to pick our path after high school, me kind of being babied by the high school system and not knowing exactly what I wanted to do, the easiest path for me to take once again was following my brother and sister and going to community college for two years. And so I ended up applying and getting accepted into a program at the College of DuPage. The College of DuPage being the second most populated college in all of Illinois, right behind U of I. Even though it's a community college, the enrollment rate, last time I checked was around 40-ish thousand. But this program at College of DuPage, COD for short, it was called the Engineering Pathways Program. And what it did was that it had engineers and computer science majors go through this two-year program 
program, take a set amount of classes, maintain a certain GPA, and they get guaranteed admission into the engineering school at U of I. U of I being nationally ranked in the engineering department. And of course, me being the kid that didn't really know what he wanted to do, thought that if I got into this program, it would be an easy way for me to get into the end of school that I wanted to be at, graduate with the major that I wanted to do, and probably spend the rest of my life doing something that I at least knew about. Little did I know that that wasn't at all what I wanted to do. And so I got into this Pathways program. And on top of that, I got a presidential scholarship for the two years that I'd be spending at COD. That also meant that I'd have to keep a certain GPA and they'd be paying for all of my classes at COD. And so lo and behold, me being this lazy high school student who wasn't that ambitious and was lazy with their study habits, after the first semester, actually, I got on probation from the program that I was in and I got on probation for the scholarship that I had because the class that I was in, as soon as I found out the path that I wanted to be on, I lost a lot of passion, lost a lot of motivation, and me being in high-level chemistry, calculus, engineering, English at the same time, got a 3.0 GPA because I didn't know how to study, didn't know what I was doing. Next semester after that, same thing except I was in physics this time. I hit a pretty low point. I had no idea what to do. I did not want to go to U of I. I did not want to be a mechanical engineer. I no longer wanted to be on a path that I didn't even create myself. Towards the spring of that semester, around February or March, I started looking and scrolling through different schools that I could potentially go to. And so I put myself in an awkward position because I wasn't taking only gen eds. That's what you usually do for the first two years of college is that you take gen eds and then around your junior, senior year, that's when you start to take the specified classes for your major. Not a lot of schools were going to be taking these upper level classes that I already was taking my first year. Luckily, I stumbled upon the engineering technology program here at ISU. The knowledge I had about ISU spanned as far as my sister's best friend, also kind of my sister, Jasmine. She had went here at the time. And my best friend, Avery Roy, had already planned to try out for the team here. And so I thought that maybe down the line, I'd be at a place where it, some of the people that I was closest with would already be here. And I'd be in a program where at least I knew a little bit more about. And what really reeled me in about this program was the hands-on side about engineering, as opposed to the theories and a lot of the calculus and calculations that go along with it. In this program that I'm in, a lot of it is designing, a lot of it is robotics, a lot of it is hands-on. There's a lot more lab time. Me being an ambitious freshman, actually having to go out of my way to find a path that I wanted to be on, thought that this was the right way. Somewhere along the way, I almost decided on NIU, Northern Illinois University, but if I were to go there, it would be kind of the same path as just being a mechanical engineer at U of I, which is not what I wanted to be. Bottom line, me not knowing what college was all about or how to prepare myself for the rest of my life, thought that I'd set my path onto ISU. Looking back, you could call me lazy, you could call me kind of a failure, kind of a disappointment, whatever, but whatever happened to me in the past set me up to be in the place that I am at right now. It took, you know, all of high school and basically all the way since third grade for me to finally realize what I wanted to be. I know that like right now the story's kind of broken, but I ended up dropping out of the Pathways program at April-ish of 2017. So that second semester ever of college, I ended up dropping out of the high level physics that I was in because at ISU I didn't need it. And so I ended up getting a 3.1 GPA, I think. And so at the end of my freshman year of college, I ended with a three point ish GPA, got into contact with some of the counselors here at ISU you, got into contact with my counselor at the moment at COD, figured out the classes that I needed to take. I just needed to take gen eds the next year. The, all of next year, that whole sophomore year, I just needed to take gen eds and I'd be on track to be where I needed to be at ISU. At that point, because I quit the program that I was in, didn't maintain the GPA that I needed for the presidential scholarship, I ended up losing that scholarship and getting a 4.0 GPA the next year. Brought up my cumulative to 3.5, you know, which was kind of a turning point, made me realize since I was a path that I wanted to be on, I could try a lot harder and be a lot more passionate about what I was doing and actually kind of study and try. Funny thing too, at the beginning of my sophomore year, months after I already dropped out of the Pathways program, they sent me an email and a letter in the mail that I was out of the program. That's like quitting a job and finding out five months later that you got fired. That sophomore year was a big turning point for me as far as grades went. It was also an interesting year because that was the first time that I ruptured my Achilles. It was on March 23rd of 2018 now. Of course, I finished out the year. It was a little tough towards the end, but I ended up walking at my graduation from community college. And that was that. I don't think I've been in COD since that day. I've never found a need to. I thought that as soon as I graduated, that kind of milestone in my life was behind me. So I graduated with an associates in arts. I graduated with honors and you know, 
that's how I ended up at ISU. I'll admit when I got to ISU, it was a lot different. The place was a lot bigger. There was a lot more people, it seemed like, because at community college, not everyone that goes there is gonna be there at the same time. Life is different here. I had to learn how to be on my own, take care of myself, make friends, be in different social situations. Luckily, I found my place on the cheer team here, made a lot of good friends in my major so far, made it through my first year, almost clear of injury up until I re-ruptured my Achilles tendon, spent some more time in my scooter, and now I'm back on two feet, knock on wood, we're gonna finally walk across stage there's only so many days before then here i am i just finished my third week of school of my last semester at isu there's 13 weeks left of the semester about one month left of my cheer season I'm gonna be hanging on my cheer shoes pretty soon and like i said in my last vlog the fact that there's no more school left after the semester is enough to get me through here i am at isu and who more do I have to thank than my mom and dad, my brother and sister, my three best friends, Kelly Close Dolan, all the family that's gotten me through, the study habits that I made for myself, the engineering technology department at Illinois State University, a little bit of Google, a little bit of Quizlet. I ended up in the right place. The journey is almost over, but that doesn't mean there's not still obstacles in front of me. I can't wait for what the path that I'm finally on has in front of me. I'm excited about the future. As scared as I should be, I'm pretty excited to move on to the next thing. Let me know what you guys think. I know being a small YouTuber that a lot of people shy away from the comments. So if you don't want to comment, feel free to shoot me a text, send me a snap about what you think about this kind of video. For anyone that actually made it through the end, thank you. That should be it for this one. Be sure to like, comment, sub if you're not already. All the good stuff. Illinois State University is a great place to be at. I am definitely have enjoyed my time thus far, but the time keeps ticking. That'll be it for this one. Over and out till next one.